Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. Oh, nighttime. I'm a little tired, but um, I just wanted to talk about this. Mm, the um, what do they call it? ASMR um, journaling and. Um, a lot of them are from either China or Japan, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, they're flipping through paper. They don't talk through any of it. Some of them have music, I don't like that, but I like just the plain, you know, they have the sound of this. You know, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you get the gist. <laughs> And I'm sure many of you have already seen them. But in watching them, like I was watching them to kind of de-stress because I've had to, you know, deal with a lot of changes in mom lately. And um, it's been scary and frustrating and upsetting and all of those things at once. Um, I'm going to be getting help soon. I'm not, not sure exactly when, um, soon, but, um, oh, are these, they are stickers. Alrighty. I had picked, picked these letter things up a while ago. Anyway, um, so I was fascinated by them, but I was also, uh, fascinated on how they did their journal books. I don't have any books, and if I do, they're somewhere, because I have still not cleaned my room. I mean, I have to a certain degree, but um, our laundry's piling up and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, the only thing I remember my daughter gave me this, oh God, must've been 20 years ago. And I've used it occasionally the paper is um, rough. It's, um, I don't know if you can tell, maybe you can see the ribs on there, but on this side it's flat, on the back it's ribbed, and it's like um, homemade paper kind of stuff, I guess. And this is the closest thing I have to journaling, a journaling book that will be rectified Tomorrow, I am going out to pick up a couple of hardcover um, books, journals, at the dollar store. Cheap ones at the dollar store. Uh, I'm going to pick those up. Now, the reason is because I really want to use these journals, not like they're doing in, in, in the... Um, in the videos, um, I find them very soothing. I don't know. Let me know below if you, and I think I did a video. I haven't uploaded it talking about this before. However, <laughs> I'll talk about it again in case I don't upload that video. But anyway, um, I love what they're doing. I love it's it's an art form doing your journals like that. But a lot of us have been doing, or not us, <laughs> a lot of my YouTube uh, friends and those that I'm, I, I watch do journals to write in. They will decorate them but leave space for writing. And these journals that these girls are doing are just art journals. I think that is the best description for them. So they would, you know decorate a page completely and there'd be no space for writing and that would be like I consider that to be an art journal and this is one I just played around with just to try it I was using um I don't know if you can see that very well I was using uh dollar store stickers and they don't, on some surfaces, they don't stick very well. So you've got to add a little glue, which is what I did. I kind of lifted these leaves up. I kind of lifted them up a little bit and just dabbed a little glue. I don't care if they're a little bit loose. That doesn't matter. 
but it was just my first attempt at trying this and I liked it. But what I also liked was the way they store their little supplies. Now, I don't have room in here, nor do I want to, I guess, have room in here to store things. But what I thought I would do, now you guys know I had trillions of 12 by 12 papers that I bought at the multi-craft store when it was open. Um, do I have it handy? Yes, I do. I'm just gonna go down here for a second and pick up this box. I also had tons of these Michaels boxes, tons of these tons. I must have Oh, 10 say. I think I have 10 of them. Three of them are already full. What I've done is, except for this, what I've done is I have taken all of the, not all, a big portion. I gotta learn to talk here. A big portion of the papers and I have, I have a large paper cutter, so I didn't use my, my, um, my regular paper cutter. I didn't use this. I have a large guillotine type uh, paper cutter. And what I have done is I have cut up all of the papers and I have put them in different sizes now. I started off two of my boxes, they're all six by six. So, you know, four pieces per page, right? And then I started cutting some different sizes like six by eight or um, I think, I think, and four, four by six. Um, so if I cut a 12 by 12 and a half, six inches, then I would cut one at six and six, and I would cut the other one at eight and four. <coughs> Sorry. I don't talk enough, so. And all of the identifier um, pieces that you cut off the strip that identifies you know, the name of the paper, etc., that I cut off. Well, I cut those and then I cut them in half. I cut them off and I cut them in half and I'm keeping those for scraps as well. Um, some of them have cool things on them and some of them just have words, but I think that that's gonna be a lot of fun to use those. But the reason I decided to do that is because I never use a 12 by 12 paper. I, I, I never make a scrapbook with a 12 by 12 paper. And believe me, I have so much paper. It's unbelievable. And because I haven't been crafting, I haven't been using any, I've even cut up my vellum, uh, just a couple of pages that I had, not all my vellum, just a few of them, six by six, that I can, you know, cut up later on. I even have this this particular one is a corrugated sparkly white one and I've cut that in different sizes. I think that is, I got a six by six and then I've got an eight by six and then the brown, I've also got brown ones like that. Now I may not use the whole thing, but it will, because they're already pre-cut, if I want to build a uh, journaling page, an art journaling page, for instance. I have the paper and I can just rip them, cut them up, do whatever I wanna do with them, but they're small, they're compact, and they're all put into these boxes. I even cut up, you know, when we get papers that have strips and strips of things, I even cut those all up and then cut those in half again. So just so basically, so they'll, fit in my box here. 
but I'm hoping to be able to play around with, I even have a six by six. This is a Bo Bunny one and it's every occasion, uh, Thanksgiving, Father's Day, Christmas, Happy New Year, Autumn, Spring, etc. Anyway, I threw that in the box just to keep it there. And also the, the are they called cut aparts? You know the ones where you'll sometimes get different size little squares that have words in it. I don't have one to show you. I wonder if there's any in here. In here, in here. No, I think this is all um, just pages. This is a cheap paper, but this would be great because it's not thick. Oh, here's one that I could show you as an example. Okay, so here as an example is this page, sorry. So, you know, you cut out the, I pre-cut everything. So if, when I got pages like this, I pre-cut everything out and they are also in the boxes so that I can go to a box, flip through and see what pages I want. Now I am not very, I'm not yet very good at uh, vintage things, antiquing, you know, that kind of thing, which is basically your junk journal look, I think. Most, most of them, not all of them. Some people do different things. So what I'm going to do um, with this Elizabeth, um, this is craft paper, but it's very thin. It's, it's, it's almost like printer paper, um, copy paper. It's, it's that thin. And I'm going to leave them. I was going to cut them out, but I think I'm going to leave it in here. And if I want to rip some out and have it s distressed that way when I'm creating, it'll be there. So that's the only one that I want to use like that. Now, big plans here. Because I... And it's, it's piqued my interest to create these things. Sorry, I'm going to put this down on the floor. I want to get a couple of journals, but I want to decorate them. This, like I said, was my first attempt. Um, and I didn't have any supplies out. I didn't have any of my papers out. I didn't have any my stickers or anything out. Um, like I said, the only thing that I noticed is that Dollar Tree stickers, even the new ones, because these are new, um, don't stick very well on certain fibers. So a little bit of glue. And like I said, I don't mind it if it lifts a little bit because it adds dimension, it adds character. So that's, that's what I'm doing. What I was going to do is use these pages um, to create something and then I can attach this to, let me just show you, see, I can rip a page out and create something on here, leaving space for writing, leaving, you know, um, anyway, this is all kind of new to me. I, I usually do cards or I do a project, but um, this is sort of an, taking me into a different creative realm that I'm not used to. And I thought, you know, I'm not used to ripping and dispersing things and, and um, Antiquing things, I guess. I'm not. I, I'm not used to doing that. Some of you are probably used to doing that kind of um, journaling art. <laughs> I'm not. So maybe this is a new thing for me to de-stress. To you know, give me a little bit of creative satisfaction that I wasn't getting 
uh, for the longest time because I go through that. I go through those stages, you know. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just try this and see. So I don't know how often I'll be putting up videos and I don't know how often I'll be able to um, do different things. But what I'm finding by watching these with no words, no, you know, um, just, just the process of doing their artwork, um, I find it fascinating and I would really like to keep going with it. So I don't, I don't know. Like I said, that was my first. I'm not really too impressed with it, but it was my first attempt. The only, you know, the only thing is, is I want to get some of these books, um, these journals. Now, this is a small one. It's the only one I've got. Make today ridiculously amazing. And this is lined. But I'm wondering if I can um, use this to create uh, a journal, a junk journal, an art journal, whatever. But I would like it to be more than just an art journal. I would like to leave space to do, if you want to like write little notes and so on. So this is kind of small, but we'll see. Anyway, that is my thoughts. That is what is piquing my interest right now. And I'm finding that um, before it was, I kind of avoided any shabby chic, uh, vintage, uh, any of that kind of thing, because I just didn't think I was good at putting things together. But by watching them and watching what they're doing without words, just watching, I, I'm very visual. I don't need to hear it, I just need to watch. And um, I'm finding that it's piquing my interest to the point where I'd really like to open up my creative shell that I've been in and, um, and not do what everybody else is doing, although I haven't been watching. So I don't know if you guys have been doing that. Um, I find a lot of my favorite... Um, YouTubers, crafty YouTubers, are 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 using a lot of dyes that I can't afford. And I mean, I love the work; I love it. But I think I want to go in a little bit of a different direction. So, let me know what you think. If you've tried this, if you've done any of this kind of um, I call it art journaling. I don't know what they call it. I'm not sure. But to me, it's an art journal. Because there is, what they're doing is filling the whole page. There is no place to write. So, um, but I would like to do one where there is room to write, where, um, I can create a collage. And I know that a lot of junk journaling people do do that, but I'm not sure how they do it. I mean, even though sometimes they show us, I'm finding that this is more a slow pace. It's more allowing me to absorb techniques and ideas and things like that. So anyway, guys, I'm talking long enough. I just thought I would come on and show you what I'm doing and I'm just going to practice on some of these pages and if they're if they turn out really nice maybe I will glue it into a journal. Now a lot of my stickers <laughs> I'm trying to reorganize. I don't want to leave them in these um packaging. Some of them I have no choice because they're all loose, but um, 
you know, I, I can leave them like this. I can leave them loose like that, which is actually, I like that flower. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of flipping through some of my stuff. Some of it, I don't know why I bought it. I have no idea why. Why, why, why? But, anyway, sorry, I am thinking of something else. So thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you for um, being supportive and um, mom's doing the best she can. You know, she still sleeps well, she still eats well, but there are a lot of other daily issues that are very um, hard. And those of you who have looked after your parents you know what I'm talking about. Um, in the later stages of dementia, it's, it's, it's sad. As I said to my daughter, I feel like I lost my mom years ago and uh, the shell of a person is who I'm caring for. Um, and I'm trying so hard to keep her dignity as much as I can and it's hard when she's totally mixed up on her what she is saying there's no rhyme or reason to her conversations um, it's like it's like taking five or six sentences jumbling them all up and voicing it all and 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 as I said, there's no rhyme or reason. The occasional thing will be things like, well, they told me, um, or he came and I don't like what he said and things that, you know, and I just listen. Um, and sometimes she'll just call me over and ask me, you know, who's in the other room or um, is there anybody coming or something, you know? So anyway, that's enough. So I'm doing the best I can. I am going to try and get back into crafting to cra between the ASMR journaling and cr cr trying to mimic it. I'm hoping this will alleviate some of my stress and some of my, I'm going to be having someone come in once a week. We're going to try two hours um, for mom, but um, I'm entitled to four or more hours. <laughs> uh, but I think to ease mom in, I think we're going to have someone come in and um, be with her and for the first few times I'll either be in the building or in my room with the door closed so that they can create a rapport. Anyway, that is it for me for today. Thanks for joining me. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you've been doing this type of journaling, art journaling, um, or junk journaling. I mean, isn't that, I don't know, isn't that what it is? Isn't that what junk journaling is? An art journal of sorts? But um, anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.